Let's talk about protective gear real quick. You wear protective gear. I don't care. You don't think it's cool or whatever. Wear your protective gear. I mean, I've beat mine up. Mine has saved my knees and my everything so many times. This is a simple, this came in a pack. I don't know. Knees and elbows look the same. Who cares? Knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guards. Wrist guards, I always wear wrist guards no matter what I'm doing. Even if I'm skating inside, I wear wrist guards because if I'm going to fall down at all, I usually end up putting that wrist down. You're going to break it off. Not break it off. Whatever. It's going to be a bad time. Always make my kids wear wrist guards too. It's just a thing. We don't care. We're just Nobody laughs at you, so don't try to be cool. Wear your damn pads. I always wear these pads outside also. Um, just the confidence you get knowing that, hey, if I fall, it's going to be fine. All right. That confidence is great and it allows you to try more tricks than what you probably would try without wearing protective gear. So just, just wear it. Um, these have been really good. The rollerblade, I don't know what pack. Um, but now that I'm going to the skate park, and skating's gotten more 3D, I guess, going up and down and all that stuff too. Um, sometimes I'll come down and the pad will shift or whatever when it hits the ground, then I end scraping up my elbow. So I will be looking for maybe a little more advanced, I guess, set of protective gear, but these have been great. I'll continue to use them uh, sometimes. Oh, one thing about these, when I put the elbow pad on and strap it, Maybe it's because of my big hammers. I don't know. But the the straps, they, they kind of pinch, which sucks, but deal with it. It's better than a broken elbow. At the skate park, yeah, let's do this. The When I fell down, my wrist braces were good. They kept me from breaking them. But this pad right here, I kept hitting this. I hit it like three times in two minutes, and man, did it hurt. I bruised it up. It was a bad time. Scraped up my fingers. Uh, and I started to lose confidence. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to hurt myself. So this is actually Seba branded protective gear. This is a wrist glove situation. It does have, it does have the wrist uh, protection there. Let's see. Yeah, this would go in here. It does have the wrist protection so that you don't break your wrist back. But it also has this hard... Uh, disc, I guess. It's not a disc. It is on some other gloves. Hard disc right here. Whammo! And you can slide on that and you're in good shape. But then also protects, uh, you know, the, your pad here and the lower part of your fingers. This disc comes off from Velcro, but I don't know why you'd want to take that off. If you're going to take that off, just wear a different pair of gloves or something. But these are nice. Uh, saved me a lot yesterday, I'll tell you what. So, going to skate park jumping around, falling down more. Go ahead and get these. Use those too. Uh, hip pads, butt pads, whatever you want to call them. This is no joke. This totally reminds me of playing football. It's got pads in here. Your hips, the front of here, your tailbone. Um, I got to tell you what, it's that confidence thing. You wear these. Uh, so if you jump and fall a few times without wearing these, it hurts. And I've got, I mean, I've got some muscle back there on my butt. And it doesn't matter. It hurts. You wear these things. They fit under your shorts. You don't look like an idiot. And, you know, you fall down and you're like, oh, that sucked. I fell down. But it doesn't hurt. So, I mean, these are, I don't know, they might have been 60 bucks. But they're totally freaking worth it. So get those. Helmet, you don't have to. I don't wear a helmet all the time. I'm not telling you what to do. If you're not doing crazy stuff. You're probably not going to fall down and hit your head. You're probably going to hit your knees or your elbows. Maybe you should wear a helmet when you first start out and find out, am I hitting my head or what am I doing? You know, better safe than sorry. Seriously. And this, I hardly know I have this thing on. And I got a big head. It was hard to find this thing. This is like extra, triple, freaking large. Once I get skating, I barely know it's on. So, you know, go ahead. You know, wear your helmet. I wore this thing yesterday at the skate park because I was doing crazy stuff, falling down. I fell all over the place. It's not even funny. I did not hit my head, but I don't care. I don't regret that I had this helmet on because, yeah, I couldn't hardly feel it. And 
I mean, if I smack my head real hard, I mean, your whole life could change. I mean, in a bad way. Screw it. Get a helmet. Wear a helmet. Confidence. All that stuff.